Hey everybody, check it out. That's right, here we have the AGM Night Vision. Just got it today. Here is the model. I wanted to try the white phosphor. Reviews seem to be pretty good. There's not a whole lot out there, so hope this is okay. But uh, got it from my buddy at Night Vision Universe. I'll have a link down below in the description. So here's the box it comes in. <coughs> It's a pretty sweet unit, pretty well packed. Um, you can see it's got its own kind of carrying bag it comes with. But you can put a, it's got a strap on it, and you can put a, uh, probably a shoulder strap or whatever you want over yourself here, but <clears throat> I'll show you what you all get. Got the night vision themselves. What else we got in this good bag here? It's another pouch of stuff. There's your looks like your head unit probably. <clears throat> so this bag has a couple lots of pockets and pouches in it, which is pretty cool. Looks like you've got spots here to put batteries and other things. Both in there. Anyways, Looks like that's everything. Feels like there's something else in there, though, but maybe not. Anyway, here's the headgear it comes with, which is cool. <clears throat> I was glad to see that. Now, this model does turn off when you flip it up, which is cool. Um, it also uses the CR123 as well as you can use double A's on it, I saw. Um, I didn't know that when I ordered it, but <clears throat> that's kind of cool. So there it is. First time I've touched it. Not too big. Got these cups. I'm assuming they come off. I don't know how that's going to work. I wear glasses, so that's going to be a pain in the butt. Um, the manual, manual claims that it comes with a battery and everything. So maybe it's already in here. <clears throat> but there's also some sort of battery adapter. Nothing in there. All right, let me check the pockets in the pouch here and see if I can find the rest of the stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, so I was kind of getting frantically looking around here because there's supposed to be all this stuff and there's a Velcro shut pouch in here that appears to have stuff I need. So there's a battery. Use my tripod here. Claims it's supposed to come with a one, two, three, but maybe not. There's an inspection thing. Pass, 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 blah, blah, blah. The build date, 1016. Even the tech. That's pretty cool. That's all that I see in there. That should be all. I still don't see the battery adapter though. It's supposed to come with so <clears throat> it's supposed to come with a battery adapter, which I don't see anywhere unless it's in here somewhere. Unless that's this thing maybe. So it's supposed to run on a single double A or a CR123. So I guess it says it comes with a battery. It doesn't say what kind of battery. But um, here's a bunch of precautions and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of weird things. I've never had one of these before. So it's kind of interesting. It says somewhere on here not to turn on in daylight with the front lens cap off. There's a little tiny hole in it. <coughs> um, don't point at bright things. A fire, headlights, yada yada, pretty weird. Don't leave the battery in it for more than three days. It'll damage it, kind of strange. Okay, so on the unit itself, so this here is supposedly the IR Illuminator, built-in IR Illuminator, which seems just like a black dot, so I'm not sure how that works, but it does. Um, so this is the button. This is your, your power mode button. 
Um, on here, you can adjust this. This would be your focus. Um, they call it a focus ring. And then here you have your diopter adjustment ring so you can tune it in for your eyes. And yeah, your battery obviously goes into here. And this is a cap to cover the front. So, <clears throat> like I said, when you flips up on the deal, supposedly it's supposed to shut off. So that's pretty cool. Um, here's what the helmet, not helmet, I guess headset looks like that comes with it. It's got a little chin strap here. Um, it's got a nice padding in it. <clears throat> So to flip it up, you'll push this little side button in, and then it'll go up and lock. I'm not sure what this does, maybe to keep it from bouncing or something. So push that in, and then it'll lock down. This will be your screw that'll, you know, hold in the unit in place. Then you can adjust it side to side with this deal here to, again, line it up to your eyes. Cool, nice feature, it's free, comes with it, that's a bonus. <clears throat> this is the battery that it came with. Supposedly the battery life is supposed to be pretty good on this, which I'm pretty stoked about. So time will tell on that one. But um, let, me, let me get the battery in, in there and then we'll go outside and um, we'll, I'll try to show through the lens what you see. And um, I hope it works out okay. I, I haven't had the best amount of luck um, with my camera showing kind of how night vision stuff, thermal stuff works, but we'll try. All right, so things you can do when you push the button here, the operating button, um, a short press, less than one and a half seconds turns it on. Then when you push it again, it'll deactivate it. Um, to turn on the IR, you got to hold it down for one and a half seconds or longer. And then same deal, a long press will turn it off. Um, when the IR is on, it says here that a little red light uh, will show in the view, a little red uh, notification, I guess you'd say, and then a flashing red light will let you know when the battery is low. Um, you can mount external IRs. I might actually try the one that came with my um, Excite 4K. I took the factory one off and put on a bigger one in my other videos, but um, maybe I'll try putting it on here because you can mount it on this, I guess. And um, yeah, you can see really far. So anyways, I'm going to put the battery in this. We're going to go outside and I'll show you what you see. All right, guys, here we are. It is pure dark. You can see absolutely nothing there you can see the moon way up there we're out back here in my field let me see if i can get you guys in the view here and if i can get it to focus but it works pitch dark sorry it's kind of hard to hold but chicken coop chicken coop without night vision pretty sweet there you can see the lights on my shed. Yeah, it works. You can see my shadow from the sun. That's crazy. It is dark. So I'm digging it. Look up at the sky, you can see so many more stars, which is pretty cool too. Then without. Now the, the IR, I didn't notice a big difference. So here's the coupe with no IR. Let me turn the IR on and then we'll look at that again. There's IR on, you'll see the red light there, kind of red thing glowing. So it does work. But as you can see, there's still a little bit of a shadow from the front of the monocular deal. But it's not a big deal. Like my chickens are starting to wonder what the noise is out here. So it definitely helps, it adds something. 
All right, so we're back in the shop. I'm really happy with how things look outside. It's going to be amazing for night hunting to see where we're going and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this whole setup. I was stoked that it was going to come with one because then I don't have to hold this. But the first problem I see is, and maybe someone can help me out with this, is the helmet thing goes right in front of where the view is. Like... How is that supposed to work? All right, guys, here's the mount that it came with. Here's what just came in the mail today. It took about a week and a half to get it, which was a little slow, but whatever. But here you can see the drop on that mount. That's what you gotta have. So there you go. So they sent me a call tag for the old one, sent me the new one, FedEx. And we're good to go. Now, I took these eye-cut things off because I have glasses. Um, these things are not so bright that I don't think someone's going to see you running around with them off. Uh, it would be nice to... tempted to trim them down and get rid of all this side stuff. Um, just to kind of protect that, but I think it'll be fine since that's always the back or the bottom. A lot of you guys use helmets and mount them on other stuff, which is cool. So maybe not a big deal to you. Um, I don't have a helmet. I was hoping to use this, so I'll have to figure that out. Uh, one other thing, too, is it came with this, and nothing tells you what that is. All right, guys, so I figured out what this stuff does, and or what this is. This is a tool, and your adapter already comes in there set up for the double A. So this locks in there, and you can twist it out. I can't do it one-handed. But this thing here spins out. Let's see if I can get it here while you're watching. So you get loose, it comes out. This is the battery adapter. So for double A's, it goes this way. For one, two, threes, you screw it in this way. Okay, so it'll go in like that. And once you get it in far enough, you'll use the tool like this. This is why it's cut out is to clear the edge of the end of the battery compartment, I guess you'd call it. So you can use this as a tool to tighten it down. So that's why it has a notch, why it is the way it is. So loosen, go the opposite way, pull that out, turn around, put it in. I'm going to set it back up for double A's and because that's how I'm going to run it for right now. It does function and I can see awesome. So like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think down below in the description and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you um, get notifications on when I upload something cool new. Thanks for watching.